Hello, I'm Rachel and you're watching Calkine TV live from Sydney. This is the Mid-Market Pulse Show. Let us have a look at how the Australian share market is currently trading today. Its share market continues to witness bearish trade undermining firm queues from Wall Street, which closed higher in overnight trade. The market sentiments were dented after Australia's largest bank, the Commonwealth Bank of Australia, warned that the interest rates could rise before the end of next year. Two of the big four banks, the ANZ and Westpac, have already forecast that the Reserve Bank would be forced to hike rates sooner than expected. The ASX 200 is currently trading 27.3 points or 0.37% lower at 7,314.9. Earlier today, the index opened marginally higher by 0.5 points at 7,342.7. The market saw range-bound trade moving between 7,303 to 7,344. On the sectoral front, 9 out of 11 at sectoral in indices are flashing in the red. The energy sector was the worst performer with a 1.4% loss, followed by utilities, which dropped 1.13%. Consumer staples, financials, healthcare, industrials, a REITs and consumer discretionary are also reeling under selling pressure. Booking the trend, information technology is a top performer with 1.4% gain, tracking overnight gains in U.S. counterparts. Material sectors also currently trading higher by 0.6%. And over in the banking space, all the big four lenders, Westpac, Banking Corporation, the Commonwealth Bank of Australia, Australia New Zealand Banking Group and the National Australia Bank were trading lower amid a rate hike concern. Concerned over interest rate hike was triggered by uncertainty in the market. CBA expects the Reserve Bank of Australia to begin normalising monetary policy in late 2022. The lender estimated the cash rate target at 0.5% at the end of 2022 and then climbing to 1.25% by 2023. In the policy meeting this month, the RBA had kept its monetary policy unchanged with interest rates near zero. The central bank has reaffirmed that it does not expect to start lifting official rates currently at 0.1% until 2024 at the earliest. ASX listed energy stocks are among the top laggards so far today with index heavyweights Woodside Petroleum and Santos trading lower. Brent crude oil prices hit 75 US dollars a barrel on Tuesday for the first time in the last two years. That was on positive sentiments as OPEC discussed raising oil output. August delivery, Brent crude oil futures traded 0.15% down at $74.92 a barrel and WTI crude oil futures for August delivery traded at $70.95 a barrel. That was up 0.14% is at the 30, 23rd of June this year. On that note, let's have a look at the top gainers and losers of the day's trade so far. Global online marketing firm Redbubble is the top percentage loser on the ASX so far today, falling 6.3% to $3.26. Some other top laggards are Santos, the Flight Centre Travel Group, Bank of Queensland and CSL. On the other hand, Pilbara Minerals is on the top gainers list on the ASX, rising 5.9% to $1.53. Zipco, Washington H. Sol Pattinson & Company, Chalice Mining and Unity Group are among the top performers. Now let us glance at some important updates from ASX listed companies. Magnetic Resources has reported that its Lady Julie project has delivered the best and most consistent shallow gold intersection to date. The company is going to drill a further 13 holes to follow up this promising intersection and extend mineralization. The north and central regions of the Lady Julie project have more mineralization. There are several other anomalies that have not been drill tested adequately yet. Following the announcement, shares of magnetic resources are rising 5.94% to $1.51. Next in the news, the share price of Helix Resources has gained 5.8% to 3.6 cents. That's after the company reported an exploration update regarding high-grade copper assays from its Cannabilegio Copper Joint Venture project. The company has found a thick zone of high-grade copper, narrower copper intervals, which are typical of the Cannabilegio project style, were also defined. On that note, let us take a very short break, but stay tuned as I have a lot more trending updates to share.
This is Andy Liu broadcasting from Calkine Media Studio in Australia and I'll be hosting the new Calkine Wellness Show. The half hour show will cover topics from how wellness as a concept has become even more significant during COVID to how becoming vegan may improve your health and much more. We are excited to showcase our live streaming show to our audience of millions overseas and in Australia. Tune in to Calkine TV and join me. Hello and welcome back. I'm Rachel and you're watching Calkine TV live from Sydney. This is the Mid Market Pulse Show. Let us look at some more shares that are trending today. Marine and Subsea Services Company MMA Offshore has reported that the Singapore International Arbitration Centre has handed down its final award to Jepson & Jessen Offshore Arbitration Claim. The claim was against MMA subsidiary MMA Offshore Shipyard and Engineering Services. The company is to pay J&J damages, a principal sum of 8.26 million Singapore dollars for wrongful termination of two crane contracts. In addition, it will also be liable to pay interest of 5.33% per year and bear J&J's legal and arbitration costs. Reacting to the news, shares of MMA Offshore dropped 6.03% to 39 cents. Sorry, that's 39 cents. Moving on, Winchester Energy reports that the Blue Line rig in McLeod 1705 in Texas in the U.S. recorded multiple strong oil and gas shows within a 50-foot interval, potentially expanding the oil field. The company announcement read that the Cambrian Sands exploration target also encountered similar oil and gas sections. There were modest gas shows and minor fluorescence throughout. Moving on now, neuroscientific biopharmaceuticals company has announced its partnership with Linear Clinical Research for Phase 1 trials of MTIN-B. Linear Research is a Perth-based organization and a market leader in this space. The Phase 1 trial is going to be the first in-human study of MTIN-B conducted on healthy volunteers. MTIN-B is currently being developed as a treatment for neurodegenerative dementia and Alzheimer's disease and also degenerative conditions of the optic nerve. Moving on to the next news now, Strickland Metals shares have climbed 6.8% to 4.7 cents on plans to raise 12 million dollars to support purchase of Melrose Gold project. The company has received firm commitments for a conditional placement of 200 million fully paid ordinary shares in the company at an issue price of 4 cents per share to raise around 8 million dollars. The company is also offering eligible shareholders the opportunity to acquire fully paid ordinary shares through a fully underwritten pro rata non-renounceable entitlement issue of one share for every seven shares. The proceeds of the capital raising will be used to fund the acquisition of the Mill Rose Gold project from Mill Rose Gold and Golden Eagle Mining and to support the continued exploration of the company's existing and newly acquired projects in Western Australia. Metallica Metals has announced that metallurgical testing of the two-ton bulk sample acquired from the December 2020 drilling program has produced a high-quality silica sand product from its 100% owned Cape Flattery silica sand project. The metallurgical testing was completed by IHC Robbins at their Brisbane laboratory. On that note, let us take a short break. Stay tuned. I have more trending updates to share. Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calpine TV. Hello 
welcome back. I'm Rachel. You're watching Calkine TV live from Sydney. This is the Mid-Market Pulse. Let us look at some more shares that are trending today. Nexion Group shared that it's all set for its global expansion, starting with New Zealand. The information technology service provider announced the launch of Nexion's hybrid cloud solutions with IBM Global Technology Services, IBM, from mid-July 2021. Moving on, shares of Deckmill Group rose as much as 4.4% to 47.5 cents, marking their best session since the 18th of March. The construction firm stated that it secured contracts in energy and infrastructure sectors with combined revenue of around $47 million. And lastly, shares of West Wilts Mining gained as much as 8.86% to 8.6 cents. The Gold Explorer has received an update from the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy concerning the mining right application for its Witwatersrand Basin project in South Africa. Now, let us glance at some trending updates from the Asia markets. Asian markets are trading higher after the opening trade, tracking overnight gains from Wall Street. Taiwan's weighted index is the top performer in the region, surging as much as 0.95%. It was followed by Hong Kong's Hang Seng with 0.7% gain. Japan's Nikkei is up 0.1%. Seoul's Cosby trades higher by 0.3%. And Taiwan's weighted index climbed 0.2%. China's Shanghai Composite trades flat with a positive bias, while New Zealand's benchmark S&P NZX50 has risen 0.4%. In overnight trade on Tuesday, Wall Street closed higher as investors shrugged off inflation worries. The Dow Jones rose 0.2%, the S&P 500 gained 0.51%, and the Nasdaq Composite added 0.79%. Amazon shares shot up by 1.49%, boosting the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq as it entered the second day of its multi-billion dollar online sales event called Prime Day. That's all from me for now. Stay tuned for more live updates from Calkine TV across the economy, markets and sectors. I'll be back in a short while.